What's happening, everybody? We are back for another episode of Selling Past Your Expiration Date, Being Thrifty Over 50 with JPEG. I'm Jay. I'm Peg. And we Hi, are gang. back. All right, hang on. Your, your mic's a little low, so let me get your mic up okay. here. Una momento. Let me jack mom's mic up. All right. All right. Is that better? Third is too long, so let me fix that. Boop, boop. Okay. There we go. Much better. All righty. And mom's you back, but mom. Take like two weeks off, you get all rusty. <laughs> And mom's back, but she's exhausted. I know. Jeez. <laughs> All right. So my mom uh, at 73 has been on a whirlwind tour. She spent a week here, and she was home for, what, 36 hours, 48 hours? About 48 hours and off again to Disney and walk Disney World for seven days straight. No naps, no rest, no nothing. <laughs> uh, you know, the, the – the, the heat of August in Orlando is Ooh. not my idea of fun, so holy... Uh, no, and I, and I want to tell you, the park was packed. Unbelievable. I mean, it was very, very crowded, and of course, we're toting along a two- and a four-year-old uh, who were ecstatic, but eventually got very tired and uh, cranky, and so you have to deal with that, And uh, but, but still, all in all, seeing the expressions on my granddaughter's faces when they saw princesses or something they knew and were so so, so exciting... For a grandmother, and I'm sure all you grandmas out there can relate uh, to uh, having a fun time with your grandchildren. And it's probably a once in a lifetime shot for me because uh, who knows if I'll get back again as they get older. But it was great. I had a, I had a, I had a good time. All right, text me. Uh, I'll, I'll talk for a couple minutes. Text me over a couple pictures of the girls in their excited state. So oh, okay. I'm sure the mothers and grandmothers want to see right. it. All right. So text them over. And I, I think I have a couple thousand in here. Uh, I'm <laughs> sure. In fact, my thing says I need more gigabytes and I'm running out of room. Oh, uh, your uh, your cloud. Yes, yes. And in fact, I was going to ask you about that. That's a good thing to ask about. All right. Because it says, to, do I want to increase for another 99 cents up to 50? I think I have 47. So I need right. to know. We'll take a look at that because mine's, mine's bursting too. Yours is bursting, yeah. All right. So while mom's doing that. Okay. Uh, if you follow social media at all and you see what's trending, one of the trending things last week was Dopey falling on the back of Grumpy's neck and Mom yes. was standing right in front of it. Right in front, yep. Hey, send me those pictures. I'm riffing while you send the pictures. Oh, oh well, uh, let me see what's, what's good here. Hey. Uh, we've got so I many. Need, I don't um, need your help right now. I'm trying to get you to send me pictures. I'm trying. Okay, let me so look. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's it's on the paddle boat and uh, Goofy's on a level above uh, um Sorry, Dobie's on a level above Goofy, just skipping, and his foot slips, and he goes right underneath the railing, and bam, right in the back of Goofy's neck, and Mom and the family were standing right in front of it. They didn't get the shot, like everybody else didn't put it online, but uh, it's pretty amazing that something is trending like that for you to be standing at the front row and looking at it. So, And mom, mom, uh, Mom's mom been going to Disney uh, since we were little babies, because my grandparents always wanted to take us, so we went every uh, every spring break. And yeah. uh, so mom was doing it again with the next generation being the grandmother this right. time. So, In fact, uh, Jason, I don't know if you remember this, but uh, on our way down to visit my parents who had a condo down in uh, Florida, uh, we even stopped at the welcoming center where they had the, uh, the preview of what Disney World was going to be like. All the little, you know, buildings and everything, the uh, prototype uh, of what Disney World would be. So we even saw it, you know, before they opened to the public. So that was kind of cool. I, I don't know if you remember that or not for sure. Oh, yeah. Did anything come through yet? Yeah, let me tell you. Okay. Trying to nope. see. Nope. Okay. Nope. All right. So today what we're going to talk about, while well, my mom is giving me a couple of pictures. Oh, hey, I heard some, doo -doo, some pictures. <laughs> okay. uh, what we're going to talk about is how do you go on vacation if you and keep your business running if your partner doesn't go with you, so spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, friend, whatever, and if the person you leave behind is not computer savvy, how do you keep the business running? <laughs> That's what we're going to talk about today because I got to feel a lot of our viewers, uh, especially some of the older ones, might be in that situation. You know, uh, I don't always travel with my spouse. She travels a lot for work. So do I. I, we, <clears throat> I travel a bit for fun without her sometimes. And so every once in a while, she has to fill in and come up here and ship. So, I mean, this is good for all ages, but yeah, if you, uh, you know, if you're off for the girls for the weekend and you leave the hubby home and he's got a ship and he's not all that adept at the computer, what do you do? How do you do it? So that's what we're going to talk about first. And then we're going to talk about how you can source without really trying while on vacation. So let's say you do take your partner who does not like 
sourcing and thrifting, there is ways to do it and still have fun and not look like you're doing it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yep. And that is obviously if you go someplace like a Disney World. If you rent some cabin way up in the boonies of Montana, yeah, that ain't happening. Unless no. you can sell some sticks and rocks. Right, right, exactly. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we're talking about. And then uh, we got some mom hauls and some mom sales. All right, let's uh, let's show the pictures real quick of my nieces, and then we'll get into how did dad do while you were gone. <laughs> All right, so they went to how many character. Uh, uh, meals did you go to? We had uh, five out of seven days. We did five character meals. Um, that was uh, well, which one was that? That was at the di the diner place. That was at the diner. Yeah, they were all dressed uh, beachy. Uh, now, that I gotta assume my sister is standing someplace else taking a picture because neither one of them are looking at you. Yes, they were. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Grandma's over here. Look at Grandma. <laughs> Yeah, we had both had our cameras going 100 miles an hour, of course. Oh, I, I can imagine. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Uh, the full-size version and the pint-size version of Snow White. Yeah. Snow White actually danced with her. Oh, my God, she was in heaven. And, and that was at um, that was at one of the that – was, that was at Bell's Castle. Cool. Yeah, so that was cool. Our, our final night, which I didn't send you a picture of, was we, got, we had dinner – in Cinderella's castle. I have never done that before, and that was quite a treat. Uh, if any of you grandparents out there are planning a trip, highly recommend that you do that one because all the princesses come through and see the girls. Uh, we even had Jasmine, which we had not seen at some of the other places, but they were all there, and all, all the all the main big ones. So that was a special treat, and the the, the meal was delicious. The food is outstanding. Cool. All right, so. You leave uh, base essentially for two weeks, and Dad held the fort on. Now, you did not put your store on vacation, correct? Correct. Now, I, I know my father. He's a whiz at shipping, but I also know my father. I could never hand him the computer and go, here, do this. I know. Well, so how, how, do, you, how do you manage it from afar? Now, okay. I'm assuming technology plays a part. You can chat with him really easily. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of notes. <laughs> All right, lots of notes. <laughs> lots of notes. I have pages and pages of notes. You know, even if it was foreign shipping, I have foreign shipping notes. You know, that kind of thing. One thing that, that's good, since Dad finally updated his old flip phone <laughs> to an iPhone, you know, he will get notices as well when something, has, I've even gotten an offer or, you know, something has sold. So he knows that action is happening. And then he can tell, like, if we have gotten an offer, I will do the one who does the countering or accepting the offer. And that also, you know, will uh, ring on his phone. So it's kind of nice that we both have the same phones that we can coincide knowing what's going on together. Yeah. What, um, which at first, uh, when I first got the eBay app on Dad's phone and gave him the notifications, uh, I thought mom was going to kill me because every time something happened, his phone would vibrate. He pulled out of his pocket. Are we taking this off or what are we doing? Are we doing? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I looked at mom and went, sorry. <laughs> I thought we created a monster yeah. for but sure. No, you're right. It's good. So it is good. Knows, it is so good. You're in the middle of it's a small world after all, and you've got something to ship. He can see it because right. it's not much easier now that his phone has just told him, right. hey, Regan, go ship this. I know, and it's funny. Will you believe it? The whole time I'm gone, actually, my store was pretty busy. Uh, I mean, I was constantly, you know, waiting in line on a ride or on a ride and trying to accept an offer or counter offer or whatever. And uh, I get home, and, and it's dead on the doornail for the last two days. And I'm saying, jeez, I better go back on vacation, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. So so, uh, so yeah. how did he do? Okay. Actually, he did pretty good. What Dad isn't real good at on the computer, he will open up a ton of, uh, <laughs> you know, what are, what are they called? Not icons up at the top. Tabs? Tabs. Thank you. Couldn't, couldn't think of it. He will open a ton of tabs. I, I've shown him, you know, how to back out. But he kind of forgets him, and when I came home, oh, my God, there was a million tabs open. Oh, you should have counted. I want, I want a number. I should have. 72 well, tabs. You know, there were a lot. Let's just put that in because, yeah. you, you know, the more you put up there, the tinier they get. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, so they were very tiny. I mean, he knew bad. I mean, he got everything shipped. I mean, we even had one foreign shipping. 
uh, which, you know, he got through it. I mean, uh, I, we talked a little bit on the phone on that one, but uh, he got everything shipped uh, out. I mean, uh, you know, I kept watching to see my messages come through that, you know, uh, eBay's shipping's been paid, uh, PayPal's been, you know, so then I knew he had shipped the item. And sometimes he was ahead of me before I even got to him. So I think that's kind of the key is, you know, no, like I said, no matter the age, if you've got someone at home helping you out, yeah. if you both have smartphones and you're both uh, logged into the same eBay, yeah. So he saw it. She saw it. She knew when shipping got printed. Yeah. Uh, same thing because I have the notifications uh, to when I charge my th shipping through PayPal pops up on my phone. So even when yeah. I'm traveling and an assistant's doing it, uh, you know, Shipping should be done by 10 a.m. every morning. So when I see that ding at 9:50 or 10:02 of PayPal, you know, just pay PayPal this much money, I know shipping is now done. Now that doesn't mean it's correct. I just know it's done. Right, right. But he, he, I, I gave him a lot of credit. He did really great the, you know, the whole time. I mean, since I was gone, like say almost two solid weeks uh, in a row, uh, Dad did a great job, and um, I'm impressed actually. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, you know, and that worked out well, and, you know. Yes, yeah, very much so. So, yeah, for, for those of you out there, that might be a, a husband and wife duo or a friend duo or whatever the case might be, uh, it, that was great. I mean, I'm, I'm disappointed he couldn't make either of the trips, but it was nice to have someone back home uh, taking care of the store that I didn't have to close down because we had a lot of sales. And, I, you know, i got to say, and I, and I hear this from my mom, and I've heard it from others and seen it from others, Sometimes when you retire, from what I'm told, you start to get bored. Yeah. And so dad can go on the trips, uh, but having the stuff to ship every day gave him something to do oh, that yeah. had to be done, had to be specifically done. So I got to imagine that it's like, well, I get to do that today. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And then, you know, and then uh, he, just before I, he knew I was coming home, then he started to take more pictures, you know, so I was ready to do pictures when I got home, you know, of, of getting that ready in the computer and, and uh, being able to uh, get more listings done. And I've, I've been listing the last two days solid because Dad took a bunch of pictures and had that stuff ready for me. So he uh, he kept uh, pretty well occupied while I was gone. So the million-dollar question is, when are you going to teach Dad how to list? <laughs> I don't know. It, it was so hard getting him just to do what he can do on the computer. And I know how Jason gets frustrated with me. I got frustrated with Dad. Oh my gosh, it, it it is hard because you think they should know it, but but they don't. I mean, Dad has to read his notes every single time that he does it. Huh. Which I would think by now it would be in the brain that he doesn't have to look at his notes, but he has to follow his notes verbatim. Especially with my dad. I mean, he's very much you know. I had bought this kind of heavy duty wood chair. Uh, at a Savers, and I wanted to turn it into a little lifeguard stand, you know, just not for real purposes, but it looks cute all by your pool. And so I needed basically a base to be built. And so mom and dad were here, and I'm like, hey, I need a base for my, because uh, I'm not handy. I'll put yeah. it on front street. I'm not handy. So, hey, I need a base to be built. And so dad went over, he measured the chair, he, he took a, a pad and paper, and he wrote down some notes. He goes, all right, we're going to Home Depot, we're buying this lumber. And so we did. We bought the lumber and came back and got the tools out, he cut it. We uh, screwed it together. We uh, attached the chair to the base, and the scrap of wood at the end was about that much. Oh yeah. When it comes to any engineering projects, he's a whiz. I mean, but, a real but whiz. He doesn't need, you know, no. other than he drew the plans up so he can do the measurements. Then he can just do it, which shocks me that he has shipped a thousand items yes. and he's still got to read the notes every time. He has to read the notes, Jason. I was gonna. T I don't think I've ever told you that. And uh, and if I, I mean, he would be lost if these notes weren't here, you know, next to the computer. Well, that's why, and that's why I have good notes, and wow. my assistant, who uh, I only have two more days with because she's becoming a teacher next week, ah. she uh, wrote me, what did I got on me? What did I got dirt on me? She wrote me a, a manual. Uh, it surprised me. Like, she was always taking notes, which I expect from my assistant, but one day she was just sitting there writing, 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 and we weren't talking, and I said, hey, what are you writing? She goes, oh, I wrote you a manual for who will be a hire next. You know, that's a great out idea. Of here, like by yeah. section. So here's yeah. here's her shipping section. Here's her right. listing section, picture right. taking. So that's pretty oh. cool. Now, oh. I want to address uh, a question about what I said uh, in the chat from Right mm -hmm. Brain Boutique. Is there a story behind that comment, Jay? Uh, doesn't mean the shipping is correct. Yeah, just, just because mom saw that dad shipped something or I saw that Allison shipped something, it just means it got shipped. 
Walt Allison, my assistant, was working with me last week. She screwed up shipping. I didn't notice it, even though we were doing it together. Uh, a customer bought two pair of jeans. She only sent one. Oh. And so that, so we paid for shipping, but it wasn't correct because there should have been two pair of jeans. And to make it worse, she sent the wrong size. Oh no. <laughs> so the poor customer didn't even get the right size. But we yeah. got it all fixed. Yeah. But that's just a, a, a example of how shipping was not correct, even though it was done. Right. Oh, we had something happen uh, that's never happened to me before while I was gone. Uh, a package that we shipped out um, never got uh, scanned in. So I had no tracking number, and the package got lost, totally lost. And because I, I received a note from the gentleman that uh, he hadn't received the package, and... Um, so dad went to the post office and they did their best. He says, we, I can try two places where I'm pretty sure it would have gone. And they were very helpful at the post office. I'll give them that. But we have never found the package, so I had to you know, refund the, uh, the buyer. But uh, that's my now, first. How long ago did that ship? I mean, which one was it? I'm looking at your souls. Which one was it? Oh, um, it was, gosh, Jason, I don't even have it in front of me. We sold so many things that I don't remember. I know, but only one got lost. You don't remember which one got lost? Uh, yeah, I think it was the Taboo Perfume. Thank you. Taboo Perfume. Yeah. Yeah, it was the perfume. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Well, luckily, it wasn't a really expensive item. No, it wasn't. So, you know, and and, and the, the buyer even said, if you know, if you find it, I'll still take it. But... and. and and I've had that happen. Yeah. I've had that happen where I've refunded, and then it finally shows up, and I've had buyers repay without me even asking. Yeah. Because I, you know, you'll never know if it ever shows up. Right. And so, man, when you have a real honest person that says, hey, I got it, here's your money. So let me ask so. this question. Yeah, let me ask this question then. Um, the tracking number, shouldn't have that have shown up right away when I printed the label? Oh, it should have. And see, this could be an okay. Dad did this one by himself, right? Yeah. So this could have been a case where there was a little uh, little screw up. So uh, later on when we're off the air, I'll, I'll take a look. Yeah. I'll go okay. to your account and I'll look around and see what happened. Okay. See All if right. we can figure something out. But, you know, it happens. Luckily, it happened on a $15 item and not a $1,000 item. Because that right. would have sucked. Right. right. Oh, that, yeah. Had it been a more expensive item, I would have been real now, I don't think you ever did this. But for everyone else listening, one way to do this with somebody remotely, and it doesn't even have to be a spouse or a partner. It could be like my assistant. Man, FaceTime, it's amazing because, like, when I travel to L.A., you know, I've got four hours in the car, and usually it's a, I usually leave in the morning, so I've left the assistant to do work, and just rings in FaceTime. I got my iPad sat on my dash. Yeah. So while I'm just driving down the 15, uh, I can be chatting with the assistant. We can be talking about things. She could have something a little, uh, a little out of the ordinary to ship. And so if she holds it up, I'll give her some indication. All right, I want you to put some cardboard in here. So this stays a little more stable, and and you should if you don't use FaceTime and especially if you have the Apple products. If you don't have Apple, you can use Skype and you can use Facebook uh, video chat. There's many easy ways to video chat, but make sure to learn it. And we could do, we could we could go all over all of the different ways to video chat uh, on, a, on a future episode because yeah. you sh that should be in your arsenal of tools. Even if you're out thrifting and you have a friend who's in your Rolodex who knows something really good, like me, if you run across 50 Tiki mugs, turn on your FaceTime, FaceTime me, I'll tell you what's good. I did that with Nadine. I rolled across 400 skein skeins of yarn. I don't know yarn, but all I did was just FaceTime her and hold the phone and just walk, and she'd be like, grab that, pass that, grab that, pass that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's should be in your arsenal. I've done that with Jason a number of times over, over the oh, last yeah. few years. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it is real easy to... Um, Thrift nowadays without ever leaving your couch or your bed. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's, it's they are at your fingertips. It really yeah. is. Now, Apple products are the best because they're super duper easy. And uh, when we teach these shows, you know, obviously, mom and I, all we have is Apple, so be geared towards Apple. But we will, I like, will show things like Skype and Facebook uh, video chat because they work the same way, and that could be to, to yeah. and from any platform. It doesn't have to be Apple to Apple. It can be Apple to Android. Right. Probably Windows Phone if we have any Windows Phone users. I hope not, but. This is kind of on that same order, but as some of you know, Jason finally got me hooked up to my Facebook video. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, it could not, we could not get it to work while I was at Disney. I was so disappointed. Uh, but I did have a few glitches on, in getting to it until he uh, finally was able to help me out with that. So, 
any of you going on vacation, that is a great way to show off some beautiful sites that you see. Yes, and somebody asked, FaceTime is an Apple product. So, and when you have Apple products, you can FaceTime from your computer or to your computer, your iPad, your iPhone. Uh, and the only the only crazy thing about it is when I where I'm sitting now, there are two computers in front of me. Uh, my iPads here, and my iPhones here. If someone were to FaceTime me, they would all ring. Yeah, my, so, my two. Yeah, it so yeah. A little maddening, but you should hear it. <laughs> right. So if anybody hears my phone ring, I have my phone on mute, but my computer will ring. Yep. So, you know, I apologize for that, but that's what happens sometimes. Yeah, so yeah, I think that's a good idea. We'll do a show, uh, or at least part of a show, on how to use video chat because, yeah. you know, not just in your thrifting life or your selling life, like you want to see your grandkids, you right. want to, you know, you're, sen you're standing on a gorgeous cliff watching the sunset in Hawaii and you want to share with your friends on Facebook, you can do that. I mean, yeah. it, today, you know, I, I talked about this on, I don't know if it was this show, I don't know if I talked about any of my shows, but I talked about somewhere. But there is 100 million hours oh, of yeah. video watched every day on Facebook. Yep. Every day. Yeah. And in four years, it's going to go 11 times more. So there will be 1 billion hours of video watched on FaceTime every day. Amazing. And that's kind of where everything's going. So if you want to brand yourself, if you want to push your products out there, if you want to just have fun, you know, I've, I've heard about the death of Facebook for many years. It ain't going nowhere. I don't We're think all so. on it. We all use it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, I mean, if you, I know some of us all can't afford the Apple products. Whoops, are you back? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, okay. But uh, do your best. You know, save your pennies because it's really nice the way they all intermingle with each other. Um, that's that's a plus, I think. And I'm glad you pushed me finally into getting that, Jason. I want to hear no Apple hater, hater aid in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I've drank the Kool-Aid of Apple, and I'm very happy and content. It makes life easy. Yeah, it sure does. When they all uh, coincide with each other, you can't hate that. No. All right, so let's talk about sourcing while on vacation. Oh, I need to find a picture. Um, okay. And how to do it. And, and so uh, I've given this speech many times, and it's going to be specifically relevant today to what Mom's going to show you. But essentially... If you like a cocktail and you like a tiki cocktail, you can drink in any tiki bar in the country for free because when you buy a cocktail at a tiki bar, you get it in a tiki mug. Uh, you don't have to, but you can. And typically, you can go home and sell a tiki mug for at least what you paid. So at that, at that point, the cocktail is free. And some of them, you can get more than you paid. So mom has one of those examples because while in Disney World, twice, Mom went to Trader Sam's, which is the tiki bar that they have both at Disney World and Disneyland. And they have, it's Disney. So now you have tiki fans and you got Disney fans hunting for the stuff. Right, right. So, Mom, why don't you show them the tiny little cocktail vessel you drank out of? Okay. Uh, uh, well, let me set the picture. <laughs> now, I'm going to a tiki bar with my daughter, son-in-law, and the two and the four-year-old. <laughs> now, that's a first. <laughs> now, why they thought they were going to go to a bar with kids? Uh... Well, if my son-in-law wanted to get the, uh, the, the, the mug as well. So, you know. But this is what I ordered for myself in this beautiful Nautilus. Now, tell people who are not Disney fans or aficionados okay. what... Uh... Yeah, if you saw the movie way back when, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, with Kirk Douglas, uh, this was the, uh, the the ship, the boat uh, that they, they were in called the Nautilus. And, um, of course, it's marked on the bottom from Disney. Is that glaring working, Jace? Can you see it? Uh, yeah, pretty close. Pretty good. Um, so the, uh, the, the drink that comes in here is definitely enough for two, even three if you wanted. Uh, it comes if you if you look at my little picture on my my thing, it comes with the um, the little orchids in it and two straws. Uh, normally it's a two person drink, and I drink this sucker almost all by myself. <laughs> it, it was very good, and of course to set the frame while we're drinking and we got the kids up a punch drink that came in a cute tiki mug, uh, but I let them keep that to take home. Uh, of course a baby had to go change a diaper and. You know, we're trying, and then the fireworks were going off because we were outdoors. We could not sit inside because the kids, at, after 8 o'clock, they do not allow the children inside Trader Sam's. So we were out on the patio where they serve the same cocktails. 
So consequently, I had to go back alone by myself so I could really do some sourcing. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Let me. I, I, I'd say I meant to prep this. Okay. Uh, before you show it, yeah. uh, let me see. I was going to see if I could find a, a video of the presentation. So hang on a quick second. Oh, yeah, second. the presentation is fabulous. I just loved it. Yeah, I think I got it right here. So hold on a second. Let me get, get past the ad. Okay. Uh, yeah, so getting back to what we're saying, though, now, you know, you can apply that thought to anything. Now, if you walk into the gift shop, now, Trader Sam's at Disney is in the Polynesian Village Resort, and there's mm -hmm. a gift shop next door that sells Trader Sam's stuff and other Polynesian stuff. There is a guy on eBay who sells the Trader Sam's shirts for $75 to $80 every day, all day. He goes to the gift shop and buys them for $55. So uh -huh. maybe he's clearing about 15 bucks a shirt, but he does like three or four a day. And oh, so wow. in his backyard, he's got easy sourcing. Because once you list one once, all you got to do is click relist for the exact same item. Right, so if you right. can find some place, and I, I do it here with the Tiki Bar in Vegas. So if you can find some place that's cool, uh, that has something cool and collectible that people want, you can pay retail and then charge whatever you want. Right. Do you want me to say the price on this yet, or do you want to show the presentation first? Oh, well, no. Go say, say the price on that, yeah. Okay, all right. The the drink itself with the uh, with this mug uh, was fifty bucks. Okay, and when I came home and did some looking on eBay to see if any are selling, one just sold not too long ago for one hundred and five dollars. I guess. Wait a minute, Peg. Are you telling me that you can have a cocktail for three people and come home and sell the vessel your cocktail in for double what you paid? So yes. free booze and profit. Yeah. Can you believe it? Is that I would have that. Was. I, I, my, Mom blew that. I should have gone back and bought another one, even if I drank the drink or didn't drink it. You know, just to have the mug. Yep. All right. So now, uh, Mom went, uh, uh, and I said, "Did you get this other drink?" And she goes, "Oh no." And then she goes, "Well, I have to go back." Um. Uh. And so here is. The, now, this is the lesser of all the mugs because it's made out of plastic, but right. it has the most awesome presentation. Yep. Uh, so let me show you the presentation. Uh, I have a guest coming who, of course, left late. She was supposed to be here at 4. Now she'll be here at 6.30. Uh-oh. All right. So you order – what's the drink called? I can't, I can't even think of it. Polynesian Pearl. Polynesian Pearl. Mm -hmm. And so here is what happens. The giant clam, because it's Disney, of course, is on the bar – and it's empty until you order a drink, and then the bartender goes over, mm -hmm. and the light shines, and like magic, it's a pearl. <laughs> I mean, and so there's this whole presentation thing. So it's pretty awesome. Now that that clam will now sit open, and it will uh, it'll be empty until someone orders another one, and then like magic, there'll be a pearl inside. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty neat. Now, were you there? Well, you ordered the Nautilus drink. Did the guy? come around with the bubbles and everything? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because there's a presentation when you order the Nautilus as well. The guy has on a little inner tube around him, and he's got one of these uh, bubble machines that shoot out bubbles that Disney sells all over the parks. So he goes around going, bubble, 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 like you're underneath the water. <laughs> and then you get served the drink. Whoops, sorry. Someone's asking if you're going to sell your uh, Nautilus. No. 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 no, no. I guess I need another trip back and go and buy two, at least two more. Cause they're big. They're they're big to get, bring home, guys. They come in a, a pretty good sized box, and at the most, I could probably fit two in my carry on because you certainly don't want to send them through your luggage, you know, in case of breakage. Now so, show your pearl. Okay, so my pearl is white, and I don't know if you can read it, but it, it does say Trader Sam's on there. Uh, just Trader Sam's, um, and it comes. Uh, Here's the, where's the hole? Where's the hole? There's the hole. Can you and see? let me tell you, if you're not a big time drinker, uh, like what I call a mom drinker, this is the drink for you. It's oh, like, it's like light boozy cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah, I could, I could have downed about three of these. <laughs> for mom, that's a lot. <laughs> now, if you're super duper lucky when you order one, and this is like, I don't know, maybe one in fifty, one in a hundred. Yeah. Sometimes a black pearl pops out. Right. You can yeah. see it's very Sam's way. Yeah, yeah that, that shows up really good. Yep. So I, I don't have a white one, which, I, uh, you know, pretty easy to get. So next time I'm down there, I'll pick up, uh, I'll get a drink again and get a right. white one. But I lucked out the one time I ordered the drink, I you, get the right one. I know. I, I even asked to see if I could trade my white one in. Nah. For, he wouldn't let me. 
But but every one thing everyone needs to know: you cannot just buy the tiki mug. You have to buy it with the drink. They don't sell them like Frankie sells just the mugs. You have to buy the drink. Yeah, so uh, the White Pearl, if you go to... Well, shoot, I'll just show it. I was going to tell people, like, why don't I just show the visuals? So, to show you the difference... There we go. Yep. White Pearl sells for 9 Black Pearl sells for 50 So, I can take this round piece of plastic yeah. and sell it for 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Or look, you can get a white and a black. So, you oh. know, if you live near Disney, if you're listening to us, you live in oh, Orlando, no. here yes. are some easy sourcing opportunities for you to make some money. And Absolutely. and this drink and this mug and this presentation is only at Disney World. If you live in Anaheim, there are other opportunities for the mugs at Trader Sam's there. But Correct. only Disney World has the Pearl and the Nautilus. You know, Jace, I, uh, I did sneak a couple of these off of the uh, bar. I asked and I didn't really take them but they say Disneyland hotel I yeah mean, yeah mom and stealing know. swizzles I know but I had to have a couple of those you know yes Vicky is talking she said you mean I can drink that yes Vicky I, I Vicky's in my phone as Vicky lightweight Vicky you would <laughs> love the potties and pro oh, oh yeah this this was the berries for mom uh, the Nautilus was of course a lot stronger it, but it, but I liked the taste of the Nautilus. It was very good. But this this was the berries, the Polynesian pearl. Oh, and then real quick, because uh, uh, I've done this with with uh, friends. So here here I am at Trader Sam's, and this mm -hmm. is uh, the Krakatoa. And when you order this drink, Disney magic happens all around the bar, and there are red glowing ice cubes in this drink. And then this mug uh, can be sold for more than I paid for the drink. This is my buddy Jay. And and here we all are with our Krakatoas. But Jay and I shared our Nautilus together. It is. So it gives you a little uh, scale on how big that drink is right there. Oh, yeah. It's, it's huge. It really is. And Trader Sam's is a great tiki bar. Speaking of tiki bars, Jay, did you hear about the new one opening up in Phoenix? Yes, I have. Okay. Opens tomorrow. Yep. Well, Sounds I'll interesting. Be going soon. Yeah, because it's, it's underground. Yep. Yeah. This is on the way to the bathroom, so Disney doesn't skimp at all. So, yeah. uh, more more uh, hallway shots. Cool. Yep. So if you can get down to there, and like I said, any place that has something cool that can't just be bought anywhere, right. and right. even like Frankie's mugs, you could buy them on their website, but I just sell them, sell them out of my house. Yeah, can't eat that. <laughs> yeah. So you've got that in your backyard. Anybody near Disney World? in their backyard should be visiting the Polynesian. Yeah. Yep. And, and there's other opportunities. Like you can hit all the things, you can hit a lot of stuff that isn't in the park and you can buy some cool stuff and flip it sometimes up to double. And then you just have that until they discontinue it. You have that endless. Right. You just pick up them and you don't have to keep them in stock. Even if you live close enough, I look, I live close to Frankie's. I buy, I buy a round of mugs or bring them home when I start to run out and I go back up. I don't have to have a hundred here. Exactly. All right. So, we've talked about vacations and how to uh, to per how to help the person at the other end keep you going. We've mm -hmm. talked about how now. Look, mom was gonna go to that bar and check it out anyway. She sourced without actually sourcing. So, if you're with a travel buddy who doesn't like sourcing, you can source very easily. So, keep that in mind. Yeah. Keep that. Yeah, in mind. I, I should have tried to finagle a couple of more pieces, but when I went back the second time, I was alone. So, you know, I didn't have my daughter with I'm me. I'm right alone. I know, I did. I went to, look, I think this is one of the first times I've ever done this at a tiki bar. I went in all by myself, sat at the bar. Two gentlemen sat down next to me, started up a conversation. They were from Michigan. And I said, well, we don't like you during football too much. <laughs> we don't like you. Go away. <laughs> and they laughed their heads off, you know, one of those. But, yeah, so I just struck up a conversation. You know, Mom, I'm not too shy. And, uh, and I had a really nice time, even though I had gone alone. Which gave me more time to shop uh, in the gift shop and find a couple of things for Jason and a couple of things for Stacy. And uh, yeah, you're right. The shirts were right there. The Trader Sam shirts. Those were really nice. Yeah, the this green. one. This one guy in Orlando's got it cornered. Yeah, is is he selling the green one, Jason, or the one with yeah, Mickey? the green and blue one? So yeah. he can knock out fifteen to twenty bucks like three, four times a day, every day. Ah, that's amazing. Good and, for him. You know, like when I sell the Frankie's mugs, some sell way better than others. Uh -huh. Some aren't selling at all. So when I run out of those, I'm not even going to stock those anymore. So if you can follow your ebbs and flows and not be stuck with too much product when it ebbs. Yeah. True. True. All right. Okay. 
uh, I will watch. Uh, if you if anybody got any questions about that, throw in the chat. But we're gonna move on to Mama's Boy, <laughs> our one and only segment on the show, really, <laughs> <laughs> where I share a, a picture of my younger years, and uh, I don't know of any more apropos picture to share uh, than this one. Uh, hang on a quick second, I have it open. Oops, nope, that one. There we go. So, since we're talking about Disney, look, oh, look what a pimp I was at, like about five years old. Let me look see, this, what'd you find? Look at this slamming outfit right there. Oh, man! <laughs> look at that Hawaiian shirt, checkered pants. I was looking good. <laughs> I love it. That's I was a, looking good. That's a great shot. Uh, uh, was there a date on this? Let me see here real quick. Well, you look about four, maybe five. Yep, this was May 1975, so yeah. I was... Four years old, four yeah. years old, and five months. Yeah. Yep. 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 See, you're just about Rory's age, Jace. Yeah. 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 See. Now if let's that's... compare that to my ten-year-old outfit I showed two episodes ago, where I had just the worst socks. I, ha I mean, I used to dress good. You let me start dressing like a mess. What happened, huh? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who this, knows? This, this, this. Look at the shoes match this shirt. This outfit's on point. This is like your animals. <laughs> Oh, Lord, anyway, still got the same haircut. <laughs> oh, yeah, that haircut never changed. No, nope. never, never, never. A lot of good memories at Disney with all my children, I have to say. I mean, we were very fortunate to go as often as we did, and, and, and thanks to my parents, really, because my, my, my father was uh, infatuated with the kids going to Disney, and he bought them all three of my children uh, matching yellow jackets with the big uh, Mickey Mouse head on the back, which I have given to each of the kids to save, so they still have that. And um, oh, I wasn't supposed to sell that. Ah ha ha! No, I don't ah, think you did. Gotcha. <laughs> I don't think you let that go. And then we came back. We had all been out, and Dad had stayed back all by himself, and we'd all been out to the park and came back. And when we came into the uh, to the bedroom of the hotel, there on the bed was the giant size Mickey. I mean, the great, great big one, the biggest one you could buy at the time. And oh my God, you kids were ecstatic. So you know, all parents go through it, and it's a wonderful place to uh, have uh, with your children. There's no doubt about it, and and grandkids. All right, so that was my mama's boys segment. What year was it? It was 1975, May of 75. Yeah. I'll All say. right, so uh, I was running a little late today. We didn't talk about what scores you want to share. What scores you want to share, mom? Well, with the the uh, tiki mug there. I mean, I kind of missed the uh, the peak on that one. You know, I, I listed it right away, and but it stayed up there forever, and I just didn't get the offers that I wanted to. I started it out at 100 bucks, I think. And um, so I ended Which up. At one time, you sold one for hundred bucks back at the height. Right, back at the height, and then the second one just didn't go, and uh, finally sold it for thirty-eight dollars. I got that offer uh, while I was in Disney, and I just said, you know, I'm going to take it. Uh, you know, it's been on the shelf. You know how you want to move your things that have been there forever. So, but you know, wow. still made money. It only cost me two bucks. So, you know. Now, right now, people's heads are exploding. They're like, "How is this a tiki mug?" <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, that's this true. Was, this was actually made by uh, Daga, uh, or Daga, and mm -hmm. they they supplied pretty much all the tiki mugs for all the restaurants and bars in, th throughout Hawaii yeah. in like the 70s and 80s. And RJL uh, is a company that made model airplane engines, and they contacted Daga and said, can you make us a tiki mug of our engine? And this was a long time ago. And yeah. so they did. And so, you know, it's not truly a tiki, obviously, but it is a collectible. And typically, typically though, it sells more to the RJL airplane uh, uh, engine uh, fanatics, not yeah. the tiki collectors. But mom did sell one for 100 She had this one listed for 100 forever because, of course, you kind of go on what you did. And right. I kept telling her, I said, Mom, you guys keep listing more stuff, which is great, but I see some of your shit laying around forever. So you oh, guys yeah. start repricing it. And she did it. And when she repriced it from 100 to 50 she got a $38 offer right away, and she finally turned her profit on it. Yeah. I mean, like I say, I still made money because they only cost me 2 bucks, so it was still a decent profit. All right. And then I picked out this uh, nice Guinness sign that you guys oh, sold yeah. for $40. Bucks. Yeah, this was real good. We paid $3. Or a poster? Poster? What is yeah. it? Yeah. It's a poster. And, yeah, so uh, not, not even nothing real all that big, but $40. Bucks. Uh, yeah, that was that was a good find. We paid 2 bucks for the poster as well. And uh, so that was I, when I got that offer, I said, ooh, yes, thank you. All right. Uh, you can pass this tip on to Dad. He's got to back the lights off. That's the light right there, and that's I the know. light right there. I, I've, I've told him. <laughs> yeah, especially on a reflector. And what else would help? 
And this is just a good tip for anybody because also I see the window to the outside world right there. Uh huh. So if Dad would have slid it back a little bit so it angled straight up to the ceiling instead of being flat, ah, you would okay. not see the window nor the lights probably. So yeah. instead of it being just like this, you angle it like that. Oh. Especially if you have a white ceiling, then it, the whole thing will be the same. It won't. You won't see all that stuff. Okay, that's good to know. So I need yeah. just a like when I do CDs and records because the vinyl really reflects. You, you know, you see me taking the picture. Right. If you angle it up a little bit towards a white ceiling, then you're all good. Okay, I'll switch all that one because that's a great tip. Yeah. And then I picked this out. This uh, awesome little uh, what is this? Uh, yeah, it's one of those uh, early Mexican jackets. Yeah, look at that. Uh, are, you, are you ready for this? This is the Mexican jacket. I bought at the estate sale in Vegas when I was house sitting last April. <laughs> and it was, they were selling all this woman's vintage clothing so cheap. I mean, that jacket cost me $2. And uh, so when I got the offer of 50 I, I thought that was a good profit to turn and accepted. But That's some, cool. Yeah, some of you might remember those jackets. They're still floating around out there. If you come across them, that's a good bolo. Did we talk about this one last time? I don't remember. No, we did not. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, this had been up for quite a while. I w when I got the offer, I jumped on it because it, I had, oh, gosh, maybe pushing close to a year. And uh, it was by Bob Mackey. And um, those of you who know, he was a famous, he's a famous dress designer for the stars. And um, he has a line out there of, you know, Less affordable or, or more affordable pricing, and, uh, and and it was a good 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 offer, and I said I'll take that. So yeah, I went with that. So that was good. All right. Anything else? Uh, so here's your recent sales. Anything else you want to? Yeah. Check uh, the Bonnie Bower jacket, Jason. Do you see that anywhere? A Bobby Bower jacket. Bonnie. Bonnie Bower. Bonnie Bower. Selling my scrubs. If you'll notice, I, I, I look. I sold a Halloween vest. Oh, and I sold oh. another one of those Disney. Um, uh, Characters too, you know that I paid three bucks for. So I've been; those have been selling. Oh, that's what that was. That nice lady that sent me that nice note, Jason. Remember? Oh yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. Do you have that handy? Oh boy, let's see. It, well, will you lose my picture if I go into my mailbox? No, I'm the if one I'm showing not. the picture. Whoops. All right now, do you still see me or not? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can find this really really quick. It was such a nice note from this lady. Get that one open. Where could she be? Where could she be? This might might not. Okay, work. This, is, this is a lesson in search, ma. Yeah. So did she message you through? I got email? it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Here's what she says. Uh, she, I accepted her offer. I think it was like uh, six or eight dollars under uh, what I had it priced at. And she says, thank you. For, oh, and she wanted me to also send it to a different mailing address. So she says, thank you for correcting the mailing address. It's my policy to pay upon purchase immediately and leave a five star, a start five plus feedback in advance. For 10 years, I am rarely disappointed. Your store and inventory is stellar. The receiver just got devastating health news through your generosity. You bring her priceless Dumbo elegance and figurines. So gorgeous. Her spirit will soar. God bless you and thank you. And I, I, you know, answered her really, you know, back with a real nice, um, uh, you know, note too. So, you know, sometimes you just you get those warm, fuzzy feelings, you know, by uh, being an eBay seller that you don't get on any other platform. That's why I love eBay. Yep, I like I like this little Tupperware set too. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that the first time. Yeah, 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 yeah. A Tupperware. Always look for old Tupperware uh, when you're outsourcing everybody because. It does sell, and I have sold a number of old old time pieces. Okay, so uh, you're you're missing a few pictures here. <laughs> Am I of what? Huh? Well, where's the shot of all of them with their lids on? Uh, I don't know. All I see is the flower lid yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there. Yeah, the of course, if somebody comes back and says, "Well, the." Uh, well, now all the lids are on the thing. Right. What I'm saying though, if a customer says, "Hey, the tea lid doesn't fit," oh, you can't prove it does. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yep. So make sure that you're you're covering your ass. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Okay. All right, cool. So that's mom sales, and uh, mm -hmm. her dad are still doing it and doing it awesome. Whoops. Mm -hmm. I can stop sharing how I scanned my picture of me and okay. as a kid. And uh, all right, so mom got home and it, did she oh. rest? She's seventy three. No. <laughs> so I got I got home on Wednesday, Thursday morning. I was out garage selling with dad, <laughs> and. We we hit a couple of goodies, but uh, Thursday and 
Friday. We went out both mornings and uh, we were able to come across a few goodies. So I will start to share. Now, if anybody out there is familiar with these kinds of statues, it's I, I, it feels like a resin to me, but the, the name on the bottom is by Van Mark. It's called Blue Hats of Bravery. Now, what interested me, you know how this one happened to be numbered. Let me see if I can get this up here. Is that the right way? As you can see, it's number one. A little closer. A little closer? Oops. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can you keep going. Okay. Keep you going. So it's number one of 1543. Yeah, that's pretty impressive to find a number one of anything. Yeah. So that that really got me excited. Um, I'm uh, as far as uh, Dad did, you know, the research. Sorry, I've lost my notes here. Dad did the research, and we're going to put this up for sixty bucks. We bought it for two dollars. So that's where we're going on that. Uh, nice. Picked up a little Vera Bradley. She was asking two. I got it for a dollar. Uh, you know, Mom, I always, always offer a lower price, and I do a lot of bundling. I, am, I'm, I get more and more into the bundling. Dad happened to found. Dad was outsourcing while I was gone, and he found this Coke tray. Some of you know I sold a couple of Coke trays back, uh, oh, maybe half a year or so ago. They still sell. This one does have uh, some scratching on it. You can see it up there in the green right there. But uh, I, I put this up for 40 bucks again, or I bought it for 10 But um, they usually sell pretty well. Um, then we were also, we also found this tray. This is the Heroes from uh, September 11th, the Firefighters tray. And uh, we paid a dollar for this, and this is going up for $25. So and it. those are very easy to ship because, oh. man, it would be tough to break that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that's a piece of cake. Yeah. Now, this one I have to be a little more careful of. This is uh, one of those souvenir plaques from Italy. Oh, it was, cool. Yeah, it was only $0.75, cents, but, you know, it's got all the major spots there. It's got 75 the, cents. Like, what a deal. <laughs> I know. You know, and, and it's nice. It's nicely built. It's already got the hanger there to hang it up, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if any of you out there sell uh, the Play School puzzles. I ran into a whole bunch at a garage sale. Since we're on the Disney kick, I'll show the Disney ones. And, oops, there goes that. There they go. <laughs> the puzzles. <laughs> Mickey, looks like I'll be putting some puzzles together. Anyway, I ended up getting, <laughs> there's some with Smurfs on them. Uh, cool. Yeah, we got Smurfs, we got Big Bird, we got uh, Snoopy and Charlie Brown, and Humpty Dumpty. 25 cents a piece. What a deal. Yeah, yeah. You really, put, really. like all the Smurf ones together, the Donald and his yeah, nephews. Yeah, you know. that's what I'm going to do. So, you know. Because they'll slide really nice and easy in like an A uh, yep. side loader. Yep, 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 yep. Real, real simple. Um, let's see. Now... If you are in an area where any old-time amusement parks have closed, their items do sell. And I happened to come across this. that We had Joggle Lake, uh, which was an amusement park that I went to when I was growing up as a child. And uh, has since closed, which I'm sorry to say. But I do find memorabilia from this park uh, off and on. And so, and it sells. And, you know, not a lot, but when it cost me a quarter. And I'll probably sell it for, uh, I'll put it up for $10. And I, and I do go for $10 items because there's people out there that, can't afford the big money. So uh, wait, wait, before we go on, yeah, yeah. it made me think of a, st a story to share. So kind of along a, a mama's boy, but this is more of a daddy's boy story. Okay. So Jog Lake had one of the first looping coasters in the world. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. So Cedar Point, I think, had the corkscrew first, and then Jog Lake had the double loop. So it was just a one-two. Nowadays, kids would be like, that's all you guys had? Yep. But that was amazing. And I think I was only like 10 years old, 9 yeah. years old. And uh, we were at Joggle Lake, and I said, I want to go on the double loop. And my dad said, are you sure? <laughs> and he yeah, happened. I think mom said, yeah, take him, take him. So, you know, they strap you in, and you click, 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 click up the hill. And dad's like, you're right? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. And we came screaming down the hill, and you go right through the loop immediately. And halfway through the loop, I passed out cold. Yep, I remember that. Right, I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you would think that would have been the end of my uh, riding coasters like that, yeah. but I just loved them more. But yeah, so as a parent, what do you do? You can't even touch your kid because you know, you're strapped in. I know. I was out cold. Yeah, that was it. That was it. I remember that one real well. <laughs> I was scared to death. Now, was the caterpillar before or after the double loop? Oh, before. Yeah, before. 
Yeah, because we all, I also said I want to go on the Caterpillar, which is a ride that went around in circles, and yeah. then a Caterpillar top would come over you, and that scared the shit out of me. Yeah, and I just started you, screaming and crying. Well, sure, because you're, you're, it's, it, gets, it gets black. It's total darkness, you know, as yep. they bring the lid over. So, <laughs> yeah. But we still love our amusement parks, don't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I found this Star Trek mug, and I did a little research. I mean, it was, again, a quarter at a church rummage sale, and... Um, these are selling for around ten to fifteen bucks, so that wasn't bad. All right, two things. Wait, back that up. Oh, 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 yep. When you put hot water in it, do they disappear? Yeah, because I think it is. I have to try it because I think All it's. All right, a so you know what you got to do then. Of a, a video. Very good. And um, Star Trek's in the theater right now. You got to do that today. I, I, I know. That, that's that's why I bought it because I said, "Oh God, this is going right now." So I gotta I gotta yep. get on the stick. So I will do that. And okay. make sure and make sure you know who the three people on the mug are. Uh, yeah, I, I, I I'll, I'll, Kurt Spock and somebody else, maybe so. Oh, yeah, it is. All right, this one's for you, JT. Well, I saw the listing. <laughs> that is awesome. I wouldn't you. pay for that. Okay, this it cost us two bucks, and this is Leonardo. Just in case you don't know, he's the guy. With two the bucks. Two bucks. He's twenty inches tall, and he's in excellent condition. And then when you go around to the back, his back opens up for toy storage. That is awesome. Yeah. So I'm thinking, I don't know, twenty twenty five dollars. I'm thinking, you know. Oh, do you already have it in your store? Yeah, I think that's. I think that, what did I put it up for? Twenty or twenty five? I can't even remember. Yeah, yeah. I'm tiny second here. Yeah. So that's kind of. Cute. All suddenly, eBay is not uh, working for me. No. Okay. Oh. Now Jason hasn't seen this one yet either. Are you still looking for it, honey? Yeah. Okay. All of a sudden, your store don't want to come up. Yeah. This next item, I have Dad and I have been looking and looking. We cannot find anything like it. This is a McDonald's promo. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oops, a little doll there. It's, it's the Batman characters and Madame Alexander dolls. And this cost me four bucks, but I just can't find the exact one. I, in fact, I can't find any display. Uh, things you know, uh, and I bought a, a McDonald's display item back a, about two years ago, and um, and I sold it extremely well. So I'm sure because this is a again a, a, a double. There, yeah, Batman and Madame Alexander. Yeah, I've got something like that in our closet, and it's um, it, it's tricky to gauge the price because you're right, you know, the the the, the chance yeah. of that making it like to you and to me uh, is very slim. Right, right. So you know, so I, I'm not, I'm not even sure how to price that one. I'm gonna have to do some, you know, some more digging on that. Um, at a, a garage sale, scrubs, twenty five cents a piece. Everybody, always look for scrubs, always. Now I don't know if I'm gonna sell this or not, but this whole candle set, two big ones and three little ones, were seventy five cents. So you know, it's got the 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 scents are looking good, and I, know I might do it for Christmas time. I don't know. I'm not too sure on that one. Has anybody? Does anybody know this label, Swan Magic? Swan Magic. Well, let's see the label. Huh? I have yeah. never seen that. I never have either. I mean, I, I, it's these are all embroidered items on this Happy Birthday T-shirt. It was a quarter, so I just thought it was kind of cute and different. You know, I thought I'd give it a try. It was in good shape for being a white T-shirt. You know, I didn't see any stains or anything. So, uh, Stacy at Right Brain Boutique, and Stacy spelled correctly with an I only. The rest of you are wrong. Uh -huh. <laughs> she sold the dolls from your McDonald's display, just the dolls, for forty bucks. Oh wow! No display. So yeah. Cool. Yeah, man. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is a hundred dollar item. What do you think? To start. Yeah, with. I would try that. But yeah. let's get back to your turtle. I okay. None. I think you're priced it way too low. All right. What do you think I should because put it? I don't see this anywhere. I'm like, I'm looking at solds or, yeah, I'm looking at completeds right now. Uh-huh. Uh, are you sure he's only 20 inches? Yep, positive. He's not 24 because I okay. saw the 24 ones. Yeah, and I see a 24 sold for 30. I think you should at least move yours up to 30. Okay, I will. I'll yeah. go in. And yeah, I'll because, go in. because... Uh, I just don't see anyone else having it right now. So yeah. you're it, you know. 
All right. You're then. the only one, so you might as well get your money. All right. Then, at this garage sale, if there's any Gone with the Wind lovers out there, I came across this bag. The whole bag, she got, in fact, the price is still there, $5. Okay. Who's calling you? I don't know. Oh. I'll just hit remind me later. Cancel. Okay. Um, but what's inside the bag is blowing me away. So this was belonged to this lady's grandmother. And I'll just I'll go through these quickly because I know we're kind of running on time. Here's a book. Okay. History, History Gone with the Wind. Now remember, the whole bag was five bucks. Another one. Okay. Nice. All right. Then we have a Life magazine of them. Okay. And we have, oops, that's a double. Okay. Where do you see this, Jace? Oh, no, not that one here. This is the Wait, actual. This. Nope, not that one. Wait. Yeah, yeah. This is the actual program. Wow. I know. Look at it. You know, and uh, I mean, it's it's really, yeah, really. I'm really sorry, remind me, would you pay for this whole thing? Five dollars for the whole bag full, and I'm not. I mean, the bag that. itself will be like twenty, twenty. I know. Is it, did you see what the bag said? Margaret Mitchell's mm -hmm. gone with the wind. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay, now we got some more. But wait, there. <laughs> I mean, and and my question to the gang is, we have Clark Gable paper dolls. If anybody remembers playing with those, I mean, those were huge when I was a kid. Paper dolls. I mean, and all intact. You know? And not to be left out, then you have to have Scarlett's Vivian Lee's paper dolls. Wow, that's crazy because wow. it's, it's their, their actual names, too. I know. Then, this was the 50th anniversary commemorative issue of Gone with the Wind. So there's all kinds of great stuff in here, you know, talking about it, pictures and all that. Uh, another life, uh, the Re Rhett and Scarlet return. So there's just, I've got three different lives in here. And what do we have? This is the actual Ladies Home Journal from 1943. So you see the old tag right there? Yeah. Yeah, the old mailing tag. And, but wait, there's more. The story of Gone with the Wind in uh, that cover. You know, so this, uh, and, and again, it's just, you know, showing a lot of highlights from the movie, you know, and pictures, and, oh, he sure was handsome. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I'm a, oh, oh wait, there, this was in there too, a puzzle, a puzzle. So how many items total was this five dollar purchase? No, we got count, count the number of items because this is uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, around fifteen <laughs> for five bucks. That's amazing. Oh wow! So I, if I was doing this, do you think I should sell the whole grouping? Well, here's what I would do, and this is a, le a good lesson for anybody. When you buy anything like this, I would go through each of those individual items, look each individual item up by sold. It's like I just checked the Gable and Vivian Lee uh, paper dolls. Yeah. They, they were selling for anywhere from 6 to 10 by themselves. Yeah. And then I would check those books. Now, if there is one item in there that's worth, like, say, 100 bucks by itself or 50 bucks by itself, yank that out. But the yeah. rest, that's a pretty amazing lot that somebody who is a fan – would love to have and look. We're on yeah. the precipice of Christmas shopping. Yeah. We're right there. This list is yeah. This is the daddy did do that individually, and we came up with pretty close to a hundred bucks for the entire contents. Oh, and I go a little higher than that. You know, Christmas is yeah. coming right. because for someone to go compile that, say they are you know shopping mm -hmm. for the the um uh, uh what the hell's it called? Gone with the Wind fan Gone in the wind. Christmas list. If yeah. they wanted to buy that book and that magazine and that bag and those dolls, it'd be a lot of work. You're going to offer it to them in one nice package. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you don't see anything that's really super expensive, I'd go like 150 bucks on it. Okay. Put, put a nice little bow on it. Yeah. And, that, that's and, what I, I, you know, that's a good idea. Too. What, honey? Fan it out. Fan it out. Yeah, 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 definitely. Because this, 
There's a lot of good stuff here to, sh to show, and I'll probably utilize all 12 pictures on this to show as much as I can, you know, on that. So that was it. And my last find, this is the last garage sale I stopped at yesterday. Oh, no, wait, I have this one. I'm going to put this together. This, this was a quarter. <laughs> Remember those, Jace? Oh, yeah. But I think I'll, t I'll pair it up with uh, some other tiki item, you know what I mean? Because, I, you know, I, I don't know if this would sell separately alone, but maybe put something with it that might make it fun and interesting. Bye, Cheryl. Have fun at church. Oh. <laughs> and my last item. All right, wait. Before you show that real quick, I brought up a picture. Oh. I, have a, I have a collection of Mad Magazines to sell. Mm -hmm. And so when I say fan it out, here's what I mean. This is the opening shot of my collection for eBay. Oh, wow. That's great. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, do yeah. not need to see every inch of every item in your first okay. shot. Okay. But this is a really nice presentation. And the rare time when I've taken a picture of something on the ground, because there's so many issues, there was yeah. no other way to do this. Right, right, right. We went outside on a nice sunny day. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, a great shot, Jason. Yeah, and then, and then we did it in groupings, which actually uh -huh. we, I need to thin this down because I have too many photos. But, yeah. but man, that opening shot, so if you're going to do that whole lot, fan all that out and, and, and make it pretty. Give, it, give okay. it a little artistic flair. Because that'll help, that'll help attract eyes, too. Right, 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 right. Okay, that's good. And my, and I was in, in doing my research, I'm a little disappointed that it's not selling for more. But I did find this. Oh, nice. I know. Whoops. The, the, the final tower is being blown up this week. Oh, you know, I even mentioned that in my, my uh, ad because I did get this listed today. All right, cool. And there's just a little... Uh, Little embroidery here it says Riviera, and this label. Uh, that some people have the same item up for sale, but it wasn't worth as much as I thought it was going to be. I'm a little disappointed in that, but it only cost me three dollars. All right, so we need to talk about your listing a little bit. So let's let's talk about that because I'm looking yeah. at it. Now let's do it. We'll, we'll end on a couple tips and then we'll say goodbye and everybody can have a fun Saturday. Cool. All right, so you change the path of light because look at the denim in this picture and look at the denim in this picture. All right, let me see. Uh, yes, you are correct. So that means yeah. instead of zooming in, Dad walked in on it, and then yeah. once the path of light changes, so does the color. So uh -huh. if someone think is hoping to get this blue and they get this blue, they might be unhappy. Correct. And uh, no one gives a shit about this brand of jacket. Okay. So, well, I wasn't sure. See, because I didn't... Uh, I yeah. didn't know if it was something famous or not because I don't I don't know. The no, name. no, no. It's just a you know. Okay. Uh, it's a local company that makes stuff like this, then to sell wholesale to the Riviera to put the logo on the uh, back. Okay. So um, I would uh, remove men's because you're already in the men's category. Okay. I would remove uh, Sirs or whatever that is. Okay. I'd remove gambling and I would add denim. Okay. And I would add uh, rest in peace, uh, <laughs> bye bye, <laughs> something because it blows up this week. So yeah, I mean, what I mean, cause, um, let's see, what could you say to you know that it's it's gone because you know you'll see in my in my description down below, I I did say that it was going to be uh, well, imploded very soon. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, so that I would clean that up in your tie a little bit, and actually. Okay. Uh, I would back out your first shot. It, it, I think it's a it, I, and I, look. I teach everybody to do this, mm -hmm. but I think it's a little, maybe too cropped. I would back it out. So I would try and find a medium between this and this. Okay. Show a little more jacket. Okay. Just a little bit more. Okay. You don't you don't need this whole thing. Yeah. But bring it out a little bit and uh, just change up that title a little bit. <clears throat> Great. And uh, and uh, hopefully that when it hits the news this week that it's blown up and people are sad all over again one more time. Right. That somebody's like, I need a denim jacket from the Riviera. <laughs> hey, Peg's got one. I'll buy it. I know. Maybe maybe I'll get lucky. All right, I'll go in and make those changes as soon as we're done. Yep. Yep. And it'll soon be a uh, new convention center because we only have like seven. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, so I will say though, I was really surprised. So when they, uh, I'll end on this. Uh, give you a little, uh, you know, what, what's up in Vegas since that's where I live. They said they they bought the Riviera to build more convention space, and I thought, what? We have like some of the biggest convention centers in the world, and then I found out like the four or five biggest conventions are so big they can't even be self-contained in the big convention center. So when mm. people come for the big wholesale show called ASD, which I just spoke at last week, yeah, ASD is 
they have sections, so you can go buy clothing, then you can go buy uh, beauty products and toys and uh, stuff to smoke and vape to. But it's so big, shoes have to be in a different casino. Like, not even clothes. You got to go drive down the strip. Uh, lingerie has to be in a different casino. So that's why they need more space because, of course, the only thing we have in this town for history is tourism. And so yeah. all these these things that keep growing need a bigger space. They better build it or we're going to lose all that money. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's cool. That's keeps this town going. So <laughs> sad to see the Riviera go, but, man, it was – I mean, yeah. it sucked. At the end, they didn't keep it up. You know, it was a ghost town. You yeah. know, it, it can be cool and old, or it can be disgusting and old, and that's where I got to. Huh. I, got, I, got a quick, I got a question for you, speaking of Vegas. Yeah. Have you been to the Champagne Cafe or bar or whatever? No, it's no. I, I just saw the bar rescue, so yeah, we'll so stick around I. there soon. Yeah, so did I. So I mean, time. We're bouncing around. We're going to a party tonight and, a, and a, seeing a band at a bar. Maybe we'll bounce in there for a drink tonight. Yeah, let me know, because it looked, uh, looked really cute and definitely a lot of nostalgia there. Rat Pack used to go. All right, so uh, we're going to try and do Sundays. Uh, normally, we didn't do Sunday this week because Mom's going to see Steel, <laughs> Steel the production of Steel Magnolias tomorrow. And uh, But let's next week, let's focus on how to use uh, video uh, chat, whether it be FaceTime, Skype, or Facebook chat okay. uh, on your phone or if you have a tablet too. So what I would recommend if you have an I, uh, iPhone product or Apple product, you already have FaceTime. It's automatic. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, if you have... Uh, um, I would download the Skype app and Facebook you should already have on your phone. If not, get Facebook on your phone. So we'll go through those steps. It'll be a little wonky because as I call people, we'll hear some weird echoes. So right. I, will, I will try a trial run sometime this week to see how that works. But uh, And maybe, I got an idea, maybe I'll send a friend out to go thrifting during the show cool. and then they can FaceTime in and I'll share that on the screen just to show you how to use it. So uh, that's what we'll shoot for. So we'll work, uh, we'll work more on our mobile next week, uh, okay. ways to use it to make your life easier. And, uh, you know, like I said, you can thrift from the comfort of your bed when you're three hours earlier than your mother and yep. lay in bed and go, yep, I need that. I don't want that. I need that. Yep, for sure. It helps. It helps. All right. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We are back. Uh, we'll be back next Sunday. So do me a favor, subscribe down here, hit like over here. If you're watching this after the fact, leave a message down below. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you want to learn. Yes, please do. Keep us informed of yep. that. And uh, uh, any great topics that you have out there. One Jason and I have talked about, but we want to wait until actually uh, this happens. I had to file a claim with the post office uh, because they broke uh, an item of mine in mailing. And um, I can do everything up until one point, and then I'm a basket case. So hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully down the line, we will, uh, if we have to you know, file a claim, uh, Jason said it will be easier to show everyone when we actually can do it right in front of you. Yeah, because when you teach somebody uh, a technique and you can't go all the way through it when you're showing them, it's going to be kind of tough. So right. I never, I've never thought this ever in my head, but for once I'm like, I hope the post office breaks something. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. But, I don't really yeah. hope for it, but the next time something breaks for me or mom, or, or if anybody's listening and something breaks, we can walk you through it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. If, Let you, us know. if somebody needs to file a claim, it kid us up, you know, because waiting for two people might take a while. But if we got, you know, we had 60 live viewers today, if one of you has to file a claim the next week, uh, we can do it on the show. We can go right on yeah. through it. So. And I was quite shocked. I got my refund money within a week after I filed. Yeah, it's, it's really easy. Yeah. yeah. People make it out to be too, too like, they all get all bent out of shape and worried. Like, no, once you understand, it's easy to do. Right. Uh, it, hopefully, it, you don't have to do it often. Yeah. It, it's, it's simple up until you have to uh, insert your, your, your proof of purchase of the sale. That's where I uh, always had trouble. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we are done. Thank you, everybody. Have a good yes. Saturday night. The rest of your weekend, we'll see you next Sunday. We'll talk about uh, video chat. And so for selling past your expiration date, being thrifty over 50, I'm Jay. I'm Peg. And we're gone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.